today's lecture we'll see one of the numerical method the method is regular falsi method or it is also called method of false position so in this method we'll see how to find a transcendental equation or algebraic equation for accuracy means a root for the accuracy so what this method says we'll see the formula here the formula to find the first approximation that is we call name it as x1 to the real root lying in for example a comma b is as follows the formula is here we'll see so first approximation or first iteration also we call it is so it is given by x1 okay so x1 is equal to a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a so this is a formula to find a root approximately and this is a first iteration similarly if you want to go for next second iteration x2 the same formula x3 the same formula so on so on in general in general it is nothing but xn is equal to a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a so n takes the value what here 1 2 3 4 5 so x1 is called first iteration or first approximation x2 is called if n takes uh, 2 here so x2 will become second uh, iteration or second approximation x3 will become third iteration or third approximation so on so we have to repeat this uh, iteration or repeat this uh, formula till we get a accurate result here fine so here to reduce the distance between these uh, two values that is a and b we have one of the important remark we'll see that remark so remark is if a and b these are the two initial uh, values or boundaries for the given root are closed enough we can obtain the approximate root to desired accuracy quickly means so here so if you bring the root nearer okay so again so in among this uh, one will be positive one will be negative because if i apply a in f of x so one will become positive and one will become positive uh, negative so with the help of that still we can go again closer so that we can get a result uh, in uh, less number of iteration and more accurate so also the problem are work out by finding a and b so what is that we'll see the problem the problem the problem are work out by finding a and b at a difference of point 0.1 means once we get again we need to check for for example uh, a value is 2 and b value is 3 so we need to check what is uh, f of 
2.2, 2.3 and here reverse we have to come. If it is 3, B value is 3, then it is supposed to be 2.9, 2.8, 2.6 means one should be positive, one should be negative. So that value we have to see and we have to go for what here, uh, more uh, accurate and less iteration so that the problems are work out by finding A and B at a difference of 0.1 to the to terminate the iterative process quickly otherwise the iterative process means the number of times formula what we apply it will go uh, in a more uh, step like for example if you are not applying this procedure so uh, it, suppose example it will be after 10 iteration you may get the answer if you apply this procedure so you may get the answer in uh, 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 three or fourth iteration you will get the final answer so that is a, that much of difference you will find so that uh, you see that while applying this uh, uh, formula so the will reduce the values of a and b at a difference of 0.1 so that we can get a result quickly so once again so we'll go back the formula for regular falsy here so x1 is nothing but a into f of b minus b times f of a divided by f of b minus f of a and you know that a is nothing but the one of the uh, root what we have chosen uh, for positive or negative and b is also a uh, one of the root uh, which is nothing but what here maybe positive if it a is positive b is will be negative and b is uh, uh, positive then a will be negative of that values here okay so let's see uh, more detail in the form of examples so that uh, uh, you can understand very easily.